Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. If this is your first time, I'm Candy Ma and welcome to Behind the Glam. <laughs> we are going to get into today's topic. Um, today's topic is alpha male versus beta male. And I was thinking, I had to really think about this because I had to think, I'm like, I think I, was, I attract a mixture of the two. But I realized that I attract more beta men than alpha men. And I was looking at this TikTok and this female was explaining why women attract beta men. And it's usually a woman that's highly independent, a woman that does not like to depend on anyone to do anything for her. She's working, she's handling her bills, she's taking her car to get it fixed when it breaks down. You know, she's um, in a 50-50 relationship. And, you know, if you've been watching my channel for a minute, I did post a video out there. I'm just not with the 50-50. But there's just certain characteristics like a strong woman attracts a weaker man. That's just what it is. Okay, it is what it is. You can still be strong and attract an alpha male. But what I'm realizing is that when you have such a strong personality and you've been independent so long... I'm realizing there's some things that you have to give up as this independent woman when you're dealing with an alpha male. But let's go through some things or uh, differences, right? So I'm on this site called comsage.com and I just pulled it up on Google. So these are some different different personality types so the alpha male personality alpha males are naturally confident in their decision making versus a beta male personality beta males are always respectful and friendly towards others alpha male personality alpha males are natural born and fair leaders beta male personality beta males respect the leadership but are, are followers not leaders Alpha males understand their priorities and purpose in life. Beta males are loyal to a fault, empathetic, and strongly protective of others. Alpha males speak their minds and are assertive in their approach. Beta males are reserved when it comes to sharing their opinions with others. So those are just a few of the differences. And um, <laughs> I think... The thing that would attract me to a beta male would be the fact that some of them, not all of them, but some uh, tend to be more empathetic and uh, they come off protective, right? It's like more comfortable for a woman that's, um, I don't think I'm, I think I'm passive aggressive. <laughs> I'm, I'm like, I'm cool until I'm not cool. You know what I mean? I'm good until I'm not good. I'm nice until I'm not, you know, I'm one of those, right? So I kind of, it kind of works in one instance, but in another instance, it doesn't work because at the end of the day, it doesn't matter how strong you are as a woman, you want a man <laughs> to be stronger, you know what I'm saying? Not saying that if your man has a rough patch that you won't be there and give him a shoulder to lean on and cry on. That doesn't, it doesn't mean that. But it means overall, he knows how to lead. He knows how to protect. He knows how to provide. And one of the biggest things I like, it was like an aha moment, right? <laughs> so I was dating someone a while back and we went to this restaurant and I never know what I want I never know what I want and I was um I was about to get on the road to come home so I was like I don't know so we get in there and I'm getting something to go because I need to get home yeah I had a long ride I needed to get home right so we get in there and he's like he places this order so I'm sitting there. I'm like, God, I don't know what I want. So <laughs> he goes, he pays for the food and they, 
you know, uh, preparing the food. And I was like, oh, what did you order? He said, that's for you. Oh, <laughs> oh, OK. I, I wasn't I didn't know how to take it. I actually liked it. Right. First of all, he knew what I liked. He knew what I didn't like. <laughs> So he did order something that I would have probably ordered myself, but I wasn't used to that. Right. I'm not. I was just I don't know. It almost I felt I didn't know how to feel. I was like very confused. My feelings were very confused because, again, I'm used to being with people. They're asking me what I want. They're waiting on me. You know what I mean? (laughs) They're not ordering for me. So I was like. Uh, like I didn't know how to take it, but then I had to think this went along with his personality. Like if we go out, he's not looking for me to cover half of the bill. He's not looking, he's not looking for anything. (laughs) If he's like, let's go out. You, you can literally, which I would never leave my pocketbook cards, money at home, but I could leave my stuff at home because this is just the type of man that's he he got it. He got he got it. He wouldn't take me somewhere if he didn't have it. And then a beta man is different from that. A beta man it may not necessarily have it. The beta man falls in that 50-50 category. They're comfortable with that. And what I realize is that I never want to be with a man that's comfortable. <laughs> With me wearing a cape all the time. You shouldn't be comfortable with that. You should be like, you know what? She's doing too much. I need to take a load off of her shoulders instead of her constantly taking a load off of yours. It's just you you appreciate it at first. And then later on, you end up losing respect for that man. Because once you see a different side of how a real man provides and protects and takes care of you, someone that's only willing to do the bare minimum will completely turn you off. It's just something that, you know, all the niceness and kindness in the world isn't going to cut it. Now, on the flip side of that, right? Say you have an alpha male. He's used to being in charge. He's, you know, (laughs) he's straightforward. He's not biting his tongue. You know, you're like, whoo, wait, oh, wait, wait. (laughs) Which way do I catch this? Okay, hold on, sir. Wait a minute. Let me catch up. And it's, um, it's really, it's, it's something you have to give up some power. You know what I'm saying? When you're a strong woman and my strong women know we're, we're making decisions, we're making calls, we're not consulting with people. We're, we're just doing what we have to do. And I think once you get into a relationship with an alpha male that is confident, um, and we were talking about someone that is confident, not cocky, right? Somebody that is assured of himself, but is not trying to put you down to make himself feel better. We're, we're talking about a real man here, right? He's going to tell you what he thinks. He's going to <laughs> be honest and open. You know, he's not going to just say he likes everything because you like it. You know, he, he's just... He's he's going to be a different type. And then you have to ask yourself, am I ready for that? But I can tell you uh, after a long time of like trying to figure this out, like why, you know, I'm attracting this certain type. I'm attracting this certain type because I'm so independent. I'm attracting this certain type because these types know that They really don't have to do anything for me because I really don't depend on you doing anything for me. But here's the twist to that. I heard this said and I said, you know what? They hit this on the head. The only time a woman will feel comfortable in letting you lead is when she feels safe enough for you to do so. 
When a woman doesn't feel safe, she's not going to relinquish that control. She's not going to relinquish that power to you. You don't make her feel safe enough to do that. So while some men think they're getting over, right? Like, oh, my girl, you know, she pay half, I pay half, you know, da, da, da. You, you think you're getting over. Sadly, she doesn't trust you. <laughs> She doesn't, she doesn't trust you to relinquish control to, um, say, you know what? He can handle everything. I know he'll handle everything. There are so many women. And let me tell you something. I've been down these roads where I'd be gifting things and just really, I'm going to say being in like a masculine energy. You know what I'm saying? Because really a man should be courting you. He should be doing these things for you. I'm not saying like if he's your man, you can't celebrate him. You can't take him out for his birthday and stuff like that. But I'm saying I, I've i heard it. I've done it where you're just starting out and you're already in this role. And that's why I'm totally against playing wifey. <laughs> I'm not your wife. I don't. I don't want to do anything that a wife does for somebody that I'm just dating. You know what I mean? There's levels to this. We're dating, we're courting, we're engaged, we're married. There's different access to each level. And I think a lot of times we make mistakes as women. We're just like, it's just, they just get everything. <laughs> it's just, you know, just everything without having to earn anything. There's no stages, there's no steps to it. You know what I'm saying? We're already playing wife when we're just courting them, well, dating them because people don't really know how to court nowadays, but we're already playing the wife role when we're dating. We're already um, being stepmothers. We don't have any, <laughs> any rings on our fingers. We're just doing too much and too fast. And I really think in this society, men have become accustomed to that and they're, they're fine with it. My point is a man that's fine with that is not a real man. <laughs> it's, it's a natural instinct for a man to provide and protect. And listen, some men will let you wear that cape and then go rescue another woman who will drag them, honey, drag them through life. Take everything they got. <laughs> it's amazing. They didn't appreciate the woman that they had that was like, you know what? We're in this together and let's do this. But no, they'll go to someone that has no intentions on being a team player, has no intentions in pouring into him. And this can be vice versa. Men deal with this too. There are some women that take advantage of really good men. Men that help them with their kids, men that pay their bills, men that put them through school. Like <laughs> it can go either way. It can definitely go either way. But I'm telling y'all right now, I I think I would just have to learn to make some adjustments. <laughs> It'll, it'll take some time, but I definitely, definitely, definitely prefer an alpha male over a beta male. Now, you know, if I can get an alpha male that has some some type of sensitivity, <laughs> you know, we just can't be crazy with it. You know what I'm saying? Some type of uh, sensitivity. I, I would greatly appreciate that. But... I think the safer we feel with a man, the more comfortable we would be as a strong woman to relinquish some of the control to not feel like we have to do everything. If I'm with you and I still feel like I have to do everything and I have to make all the hard decisions, I don't know what I have you around for. You know, what What are you here for? <laughs> Because if I'm doing everything by myself, as I know everyone's heard a thousand times, I'd rather just be by myself. You know, it's just just what it is. And all of this uh, silly talk about um, what women bring to the table, what the man's bringing to the table. He don't have to, all this crazy stuff. This, this, is, this is my bottom line. Real, uh, um, and this is from my own experience. Real men, 
that got it, they don't even, they're not even asking you. They're not even asking you where you work. Um, I wouldn't say, they won't say where you work. It may come up, but it's, it comes up in a different way. It comes up as just being like, um, inquisitive and in, in having conversation, right? So they'll be like, oh, what do you do for a living? Oh, okay. Then you'll have some men, you can tell by the way they're asking. They're asking because they're trying to figure out how much you make. <laughs> there's, there's a difference. Ladies, you know, say something in the comments if you know what I'm talking about. There's a difference. There's, I can tell the difference. I saw something stated. Um, some people ask you what you do for a living so they can determine how they're going to treat you. People do that. People are crazy. <laughs> people are wild and crazy out here wild and crazy so i'm looking at this other site go ask .com. so alpha versus beta again so alpha is self-aware where beta is self-absorbed alpha is love motivated beta is ego motivated alpha is self-mastery beta is self-pity Alpha is self-fulfilled. Beta is selfish. Alpha eliminates excuses. Beta defends excuses. Alpha is a consistent winner. Beta is a compulsive winner. Alpha is calm, assertive energy or has calm, concert. Let's start that over. Calm, assertive energy. Beta, aggressive, passive energy. Alpha expands under stress. Beta regresses under stress. Alpha seeks honest advantages. Beta rationalizes deceptive tactics. Oh, that is, mm, woo, <laughs> that is true. Alpha males uh, have constructive mental habits. Beta men have destructive mental habits. Alpha men able to process discomfort. Beta men unable to tolerate discomfort. Listen, <laughs> that's the whole thing with the beta, right? You think they come off nice. They come off caring, emotional, and all of this stuff. But those things there, the deceptive tactics... I've experienced that more with a beta man than I've ever done with an alpha man. Deceptive tactics, that's the real talk, okay? Selfish. <laughs> they think like they're good people, but if you sit back and think, they're very selfish. They're going to do what's best for them first. Now, this is the category of love, women, and sex. So alpha male cooperates with women and this is an immature male beta. So they're calling the alpha male mature male, the beta man immature. So let's start over. Cooper cooperates with women is the alpha male. A beta male competes with women. Oh, honey. Y'all, do y'all hear this? Alpha male views women as partners. Beta views women as possessions. Wait, <laughs> this one, this is good, honey. Alpha male intrigued by women. Beta male intimidated by women. Alpha male marries to share values. Beta marries to meet needs. Y'all better listen up here. Alpha male sex is about communication. Beta male sex is about validation. Alpha male willing to listen and learn. Beta male unwilling to listen and learn. That was a mouthful right there. And listen, I'm telling you, <laughs> this is accurate. This is very accurate. Of course, everyone's different. So it may not be all of these points for each side. But when I tell you, <laughs> I clearly have had more experience than I needed with a beta male. I'm going to tell y'all right now. It, it, this, this all coming off as macho, coming off as... Um, loving, caring, kind, which what I did find, and I'm going to tell you the points that stuck out for me, viewing you as a possession, 
um, marrying to meet needs instead of marrying to, as they said, a, an alpha male will share values like, you know, tradition, family tradition. This is what I believe. This is what my, I feel like my family should look like and feel like. No, it's totally different. Competes with women. These men that are competing with their girlfriends, their fiancés, their wives, their daughters. Like, <laughs> sir, <laughs> you have a whole role to play in life. You, you have a whole position. How are you competing with me? This happens more often than you think. To, to think that you can be with someone that's jealous of your success or jealous of uh, your friendships or the type of relationships that you have outside of their relationship. To me, that's a toxic person that needs to go. So now we're going to go down to life views. It says alpha male, life is love-based. Beta male, life is fear-driven. Alpha, together we win. Beta, every man for himself. Alpha sees himself as a student of life. Beta sees himself as a victim of life. Alpha seeks meaningful experiences. Beta chases meaningless things. And then you want to know <laughs> why these relationships are not working. I, I'm telling you, I was like, I, I, honey... I rebuke any beta man looking at me or trying to come my way. It's just not going to work. It's really not going to work. This is this, this is just opening my eyes more and more. Like these things have happened and I just, you know, you can't really put your finger on it. But now that I'm going on this list, I'm like, yeah, this is very true. This is very, very, very true from my experience. Not every single thing obviously right I haven't gone through everything but I can tell the difference from the men that I've dated that are alpha men versus the men who are beta men this is true alpha men are very like what's the problem they want to fix it a beta man is gonna be like oh wow oh oh really wow you know no solutions not trying to help not trying to mend things, not trying to take the pressure off of his woman. They they don't, that's not where they thrive. I don't know who they thrive for because I'm sure there's someone good for everyone out here. So there is a personality type that's good for a beta man. I'm not her. <laughs> I'm not her. We're trying to do the soft life over here. Um, again, I know that transition is going to require me to relinquish some control. <laughs> Oh God, you know, but I think the more I trust the person, the more I can do that. Trust is a big factor here. Trust is a big factor here. You have so many men in relationships like, you know, you need to um, follow me. I'm the leader. You, you have, to, you can't just say that with words. You have to actually forget the words altogether. It's action based over here. The men that I've known, and not all that I've dated, because I just know a lot of people, but the men that I that I know who are true leaders, they don't tell you they're leaders. You see that they're leaders by their actions. They don't tell you they're the head of the house. You see that they're the head of the house by their actions. And they're not the head of the house as a tyrant, okay? They're the head of the house as a loving, caring male figure, reliable, trustworthy. These are all the things that give you the right to be the head of the house. And women, stop submitting. <laughs> You're supposed to submit to your husband and a husband that is doing the right thing. <laughs> there's, no, there's no submitting to someone that's out of his mind, crazy, asking you to do things that are vow. No, this this is not what you submit to. Like everyone is confused, not everyone, but a lot of people are confused as to what true leadership looks like in a relationship. 
who you should be submitting to. No, I'm not just submitting to anybody. And then especially if it's not your husband, we're not, what are we talking about here? <laughs> you know, you gotta, you gotta get to that point. You got to get to that point. But this is very interesting. I thought about this, you know, I stopped dating because I'm like, I need to figure some things out for myself. I need to clarify some things. I'm just not going to keep going through cycles. I don't know what's going on here. <laughs> <laughs> but I need to identify some of the issues that I um, have experienced. And I will tell you, this is like at the top of my list. I, I need a certain type. I need a I got it man type. OK, he got it. I know he got it. That feeling. I can't tell you how freeing that feeling is. How freeing that to like. <laughs> Just you just to be with somebody who just got it. And it's not always financially. A lot of times when they got it, they just got everything. I'm just I'm just going to be honest with you. You don't you never you're never paying for a meal. You're never paying for the movies. You know, you're never. They just it's, it's just an unspoken thing. They just got it. You understand? Doesn't mean, again, that you're not going to treat this good man to something wow, I'm gonna give his birthdays coming up Valentine's Day whatever you celebrate you know what I mean you show appreciation but I'm gonna um close out on there <laughs> y'all can leave some comments below if you got a good alpha man let us know if you got a good beta man and you like him the way he is you can let us know that as well but yeah I'm done with beta men that doesn't um tickle my fancy <laughs> it doesn't make me feel secure it doesn't it just doesn't get the job done. And these negative things that I've read here, I've experienced. And I'm like, yes, we need to get on the other side of this immediately. <laughs> and the way that I test my dating skills, honey, if I put my toe in the water and I'm attracting the same type of person, I'm not blaming anyone else. I'm saying to myself, you need to go back to the drawing board and figure out what you need to fix so you can attract something differently. And that's exactly how it's going to be because I'm just not with it. <laughs> Thank you all for <laughs> stopping by the channel. Go on and comment below. Make sure you like, share, and subscribe to the channel. Until the next one, have a good one. Peace.